Okay, gentlemen. Uh, starting from here, it is our first unit of NVQ level six that we have to complete. Today, I am going to guide you that how you can complete this unit successfully as soon as possible. For this purpose, as we are discussing only unit one here, so basically the complete name for this qualification is Procol Level 6 NVQ Diploma in Occupational Health and Safety Practice. There are 10 units in whole course and this is its first unit. Unit number is D616, D616-95336. And the name of this unit is Promote a Health and Safety Culture. To successfully completion of this unit, what you have to do? You have to fulfill the assessment criteria. Okay. In this unit, we have three learning outcomes. And these learning outcomes have different assessment criteria. Now, moving forward, in this unit one, the total unit one promote a health and safety culture with respect to three learning outcomes, you have to complete or you have to fill, fulfill the 15 assessment criteria. First learning, learning outcome has five assessment criteria. And the second learning outcome has four assessment criteria. And the last one, the third learning outcome has six assessment criteria. To successfully complete this unit, you have to fulfill all these assessment criteria. Okay, so you have to complete if even one criteria is remaining, the unit will not be successfully completed. Now moving forward, as I have discussed with you that there are actually three learning outcomes. The first learning outcome is be able to advocate commitment to a positive health and safety culture in the organization. In this learning outcome, you have to see of that, how the positive health and safety culture is in your organization and how much you are committed. In second learning outcome, it's be able to develop links with appropriate people and groups on health and safety matters. In this learning outcome, you have to look at your organization that how people are interacting with each other or how they are making relationship between each other with respect to health and safety matters. And the last one, the last outcome, learning outcome is understand the importance of promoting health, promoting a positive health and safety culture within the organization. That why we need a positive health and safety culture in our workplace or in our organization. For completion of these three learning outcomes, you have to fulfill the assessment criteria, which I have discussed with you earlier that there are 
five assessment criteria for unit one, four assessment criteria for, uh, sorry, it is not unit one, uh, unit one, actually for learning outcome one, you have to complete five assessment criteria. For learning outcome two, you have to complete four assessment criteria. And then for the last one, the last learning outcome, the third one, you have to fulfill, you have to complete six assessment criteria. Now moving forward, even this document is with you, uh, you can't complete the, uh, you can say the answer sheets, the workbooks, if you don't know that what you have to do in each assessment criteria. So I am just going to explain to just simplify that what you have to do and what you will do, then I can mark you pass uh, in this unit or even in the assessment criteria. So moving forward, here we have 1.1. It is the learning outcome one and its assessment criteria 1.1. What is asking for, what it is asking for, it is asking for provide sufficient and clear information to people in the organization about the benefits of a positive health and safety culture. So it's uh, sufficient and clear information needed that how to people that how it benefit a positive health and safety culture. So for this purpose, it should be typically or specifically with respect to your workplace. So how you can provide such information or such uh, 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 sufficient knowledge that you are working on it. For 1.1, what you have to do, actually you have to provide information that on the benefits of a positive health and safety culture in your organization. In that regard, for doing that, you are doing some activities. You are doing some specific activities to share the information to the people, to the workers, your, your other colleagues, just for the benefits of a positive health and safety culture. In this regard, what is accepted from you will be like you are performing TBT, you are performing training sessions, presentations, newsletters, safety alerts, emails, any mean you are using, you have to provide me that as an evidence. Just giving you an example, that Mr. Fahad performed TBT, or he, he, he's uh, just performing TBT on daily, on daily basis, or he's involved in that. I'm just giving an example. If he's on a higher level, it may, be not, uh, it may not be his duty, but I'm just giving an example to just simplify the things. So if Mr. Fahad is performing the TBT, what he has to do? He, he only has to share with me the evidence of his TBT and then explain that how people are getting information from his TBT. And if Mr. Suraj is uh, providing trainings to all the workers or, or workers under his control, so he can provide the record of training and he, he also, he has to explain that how trainings are giving or providing information to the people with respect to the positive health and safety culture. So these are the evidences that you have to produce. In, 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 this, in this typical 1.1, what type of evidences are accepted? So we have uh, evidences like you can say, TBT, toolbox talks, training sessions, presentations, 
newsletters, even if you are uh, just distributing or interpreting the information through newsletters, safety alerts, or emails. You know, there are many broadcast emails that uh, also give the information on the topic of health and safety. So moving forward, in 1.2, what you have to give me or what type of evidence is required? It is asking that obtain the support of those in the, in the organization who can promote a positive health and safety culture, tailoring own approach to meet the needs of our directors, managers, employees, and representative. So basically, here it wants to know that in your organization, how you are managing the staff, like from top to bottom, how you are working that you can promote a positive health and safety culture in your organization. So for, for that purpose, what you have to let me know, you have to explain me that how on different levels you are designating or providing the informations and how you are and what you are expecting from them uh, with respect to health and safety. In this regard, uh, if you say that uh, we have performed, we have informed the workers, we have informed the directors, there should be some mediums you have used. You have used some means. You have used some mediums. The mediums can be emails, management review meeting minutes, health and safety committee meeting minutes, presentations, toolbox talks, etc. Because as you know, when it comes to the director, managers, employees, representative, then management review meetings. If you if you done that, the minutes of meeting you have to share with me. If you are doing some TBTs with uh, with respect to this, but you but you should remember one thing that if he is asking for directors, managers, employee representative, then such type of evidence is uh, accepted that will cover all these stakeholders, or you can say that can cover the staff of the organization at all levels. So what type of evidences you can provide here? You can show me evidence of emails that you are communicating. If you are a manager, you are communicating to your directors and you are communicating to your uh, employee representatives, your employees, even your different managers, you are just sharing with that. So emails, management review meeting minutes, health and safety, health and safety committee minutes, presentations, if you have like, you 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 are just managing some uh, you are just develop presentations for each level in the organization and you have shared with them so you have to produce a copy of that to me uh, that i can confirm that you are doing that so just remember one thing that uh, when you have to give evidence it is just not like that you have provided me one evidence there is a uh, because it is the property of the organization, so I can't, uh, as it is also recorded lecture, so I can't use that as a, uh, I can't share on this screen, but everyone who is our, uh, our learner will have this booklet. Okay, this booklet will be in your portal in which you have each and everything mentioned. So I'm just giving you, I'm just making it a little clear that for example, if you have to give, like you have to fulfill the assessment criteria 1.5, what you have to do 1.5, investigate ways to overcome barriers to change. Whatever the evidence you have, you only have to write the name of that evidence and you have to explain that evidence here that how it's working or how it is fulfilling the assessment criteria. And then 
along with this booklet, you have to submit that evidence you are mentioning here, you have to share with me in the same portal. Okay. Now moving forward. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Can yeah. you sh share the picture of this, uh, the picture of this book booklet that you are showing because we cannot uh, see it clearly. Yeah, well, well, just just a moment. Uh, Elias, I have told you earlier that these documents are already available for all of you, for all of you, okay? These are available in the portal. Most of the guys have received their portal and each and everything is there, okay? okay. How, why I am not clearing, uh, show, clearly showing this or uh, here because I am also recording this lecture. So uh, for privacy purpose, I can't share this document or even my this assessment document with anyone here in this portal because these are, uh, you can say, confidential documents just for this organization for which I am performing assessment. I am doing the two, uh, training work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, Adelia. I just yes. want to say in this uh, point 1.2, yeah. you mentioned over there directly. Actually, we are doing uh, minutes of we are discussing about how to get culture. Mm -hmm. Not involve directors into this. Only we can approach to GM maximum. Yeah. So, Listen, listen, uh, li li listen, 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 uh, always, always, if even someone is doing the course and who is a safety officer level in a, and he can't approach the directors directly. So just you have to provide me such evidence that can, you are not uh, forwarding it to your directors. There is a hierarchy in the organization and the value of document is showing that, that this document will, uh, you can say, uh, must be viewed by your directors. So that document is enough for me. Adil? Oh, okay, I got your point. I can yeah. share the document. That is not a problem. Yeah. Uh, but the second thing that director is not clear till now, like I'm sharing to my to my line manager, my mm -hmm. line manager he's sharing to the upper manage, uh, upper yeah. upper management. Yeah. So I have to take the evidence of that mail. No, that no, no, no. You you, you only uh, other you only have to share the document which you are forwarding to your immediate boss. And with the nature of that document. Okay. That the nature of document itself communicate that that this document is also important for the top managers and directors too. So that evidence will be enough for me. Yes, Fahad? I have a question in point one two. Yeah. Actually, for for the communication with our staff. Okay, mm. I don't have any problem to raise the issues to the GM or to whatever. But we are using here in my organization, we are using coordination meeting, bi-weekly coordination meetings. Yeah. Okay. And there is and there is a minutes of meeting by every two weeks. Mm. Can I submit that document as an evidence for this point? Yeah, absolutely you can do. Because okay. because what happened that you are even like you are in the place of manager and you are just doing that meeting in that meeting employee representatives are also involved you are also involved and you are preparing that document for your top management that it will add values or feedback to them so it will definitely cover the complete assessment criteria in that in this case, I can submit the minutes of meeting with the attendance sheet of people who's yeah, present. Who, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was, who was on it and who was involved in that meeting and everything. Okay, thank you. 
thank you okay now moving towards a uh, 1.3 assessment criteria here we have use opportunities to communicate information about a positive health and safety culture so here what you have to do you only have to let me know or just what you have to mention in this criteria that you have to let me know that whenever or when your organization normally has opportunities to communicate information about a positive health and safety culture to different workers or different employees or, di or your different colleagues at different times. So you just you have to uh, share or explain that thing with me. Although, although the evidences will be like same, like you are doing, uh, you will say daily we are having a TBG. So it is an opportunity that before commencing the work, there is an opportunity to communicate about the positive health and safety culture. So you are doing T you are doing TBTs. You are sending emails. You are me your meeting minutes, your training sessions, and then safety bulletins are there if if you are using them and newsletter. So actually, actually, gentlemen, just focus on it that it is possible that even the same evidence can be used for more than one assessment criteria. But what you have to do, you have to explain that evidence with respect to the this assessment criteria. Like here, we you if you are using the TBT in the first criteria, then you have to explain what you have to explain that how you are providing the information and everything. But here you will explain that we have a mean of communication or we have an opportunity on daily basis, like we are performing the TBT, we are sending emails. So you have to explain that document according to that assessment criteria. And, and the workbook I have just shown to you, in that workbook, you have to explain the assessment criteria and then give then you have to give the name of the evidence and then you have to provide that evidence with this booklet so how, how so it may be possible that for 1.1 and 1.3 you are giving me one evidence but it is covering the both assessment criteria and it is accepted but in both the cases you have to explain this evidence differently on two different assessment criteria. Okay. Now moving forward to 1.4, create new opportunities to com communicate information about a positive health. Create new opportunities to communicate information about a positive health and safety culture. It's again like it is just you are doing something already you are doing something like you are doing tbt's there you are doing emails there you are doing uh, meeting minutes there you are doing training sessions there then the new opportunity can be safety bulletin you are not doing before you will say that safety bulletin will be a good thing and then you have to explain that how it can help you for just communicating more or enough information with respect to positive health and safety culture in your organization. Now moving forward for 1.5, investigate ways to overcome barriers to change. So it is just saying that what you have to do, investigate ways to overcome barriers to change that if you are going to change the communication means you are 
just uh, uh, doing some changing in your communication method in the communication of positive health and safety culture you may face some barriers to that end for that purpose what you have to do you have to explain that what are the barriers what you can face if you are going to change the communication methods and communication ways and then what will be your uh, new methods for overcoming these barriers same in this like how you can manage this simply if you are uh, you can say that safety alerts there may be uh, some barriers for not uh, communicating through safety alerts or you can't miss, uh, share the information through management review meetings for that purpose you will just identify the barriers with respect to your organization. Maybe someone is facing the, uh, the barriers on training sessions and someone is facing the barriers on safety alert. Like sometimes if there is a, a severity is high and the culture of the organization and there are too much safety alerts there, then it will be a confidential thing that organization is facing too much safety alerts. But what you have to do, you have to overcome that issue that even if people are thinking that it will uh, uh, hit their confidentiality or it, or it can create problems for them. Uh, so you have to give other methods like what you will do to overcome this problem. OK, so now moving forward to the learning outcome two. It is be able to develop. Yes, teacher. All right, good evening. I'm uh, sorry good for evening. joining late. I got yeah. stuck up with something that I forgot about time. Yeah. So I just want, I want to draw us a little bit back. Oh, if, uh, please, can you go down the page again? 1.2. Okay, okay. Here it comes. Yeah. Yes, okay. So at uh, this uh, 1.2, mm -hmm. is it possible you could uh, talk about the uh, site observations and inspection? Can no. you put them? No, 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 no. Issue is that it is asking for uh, positive health and safety culture. It is not asking about the inspections or what is going on on the uh, what is going on on the workplace because this uh, part of the qualification relates to the positive health and safety culture or you can say to the management part. In management part, you, you uh, at this level you can't say that some observations are there. Observation, how, how observations can help you to communicate about the positive culture of health and safety? Because it says to obtain the support of those in the organization who can promote positive health and safety culture. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, maybe if, because if there is inspections that are mm -hmm. not going right, there are observations that are not going right, you are communicating it with the management your community in order to get them to know why this can help to promote positive health and safety culture. Because I believe observation, those are some of the things that actually will tell a lot to us uh, getting the management to promote health and safety culture. Because if they don't know what is going wrong, no, okay, they may okay. not know. Uh, teacher, what happened there in that case, that should be discussed in some meeting. You can't sim just simply point out an observation and put it here. You have to discuss that things in the meetings. So what happened when the minutes of meetings uh, will be there, summarized there, that will give the good uh, or positive, uh, uh, positive health and safety culture to the organization. So in that case, in that case, they, the complete meeting will be there. And after that, 
you can use the minutes of meeting as a as a communication method or you can say a communication method for promoting a positive health and safety culture in the organization you can't just simply point out the observation or inspection here so you have to discuss in a meeting and that meeting can be a source of information for a positive health and safety culture okay okay all right okay thank That's you okay yeah 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 for the part yes please actually actually here in my organization or in my plant <clears throat> We have conduct uh, weekly toolbox talk or weekly gathering meetings with Fine. all staff. With all staff, it start from top management up to the low level. Hmm. During during uh, during the month, actually, every week someone is talking or someone is present his uh, comments, and we are talking about the health and safety environment uh, cultures. Okay, to mm -hmm. to increase the awarenesses for the employees, for the workers, for the subcontractors, what we have in our plant. It, can can I submit it that records or that minutes of meetings by, by one or two weeks to close all the sections? Yeah, you can absolutely even even you can use the first week uh, TBT as an evidence for one point one. And for uh, for uh, the other week uh, TBT for two for one point two and for one point three even, but you have to explain them according to the assessment criteria. Like if it's sure, asking, sure, sure. okay, got it. So you can use yes. that. You can use that, yes. and 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 you can use even the same even TBT for three to four assessment criteria but you have to explain them differently according to, to yeah. the assessment criteria yeah that's what we are doing actually that's what we are doing in the minutes of meeting yeah because absolutely recently last, week, recently last week we are uh, finished the external ehs audit and mm -hmm. when the auditor seen our records he was very happy about it yeah that's fine that's great okay now moving forward uh to the learning outcome to be able to develop links and appropriate people and groups on health and safety matter. In this, typically it will focus on the internal people and external stakeholders or people you can say to whom you have to develop a connection in your organization for health and safety matters. In this case, you will have now different options for doing this. Like 2.1, we have identified the appropriate people and groups with whom to develop links on health and safety matters within the organization, external to the organization. So the uh, first of all, you have to let me know, or you have to write there with respect to your organization that you have to work uh, with your, you have to make connections uh, with your top management, with your workers, with uh, the contractors, with the suppliers. These all, these all are the people with whom you have to link yourself for health and safety. In this method, what happened that how you can confirm me that you are creating links between uh, cre uh, creating links between you and different persons. So there will be evidences like uh, contractors inductions, the suppliers questionnaires, professional body membership like you are doing up a, a project like engineering project. You should have a, a clear membership or something from a recognized uh, body that that is confirming you that you can do that such activity because it is also a, a, you can say a legal requirement for that. In this case, what can you submit me? Why I am reading out from here just to making it simple that what type of evidences you can share with me, like. You can provide the emails that how you are 
connecting between different people, meeting minutes, contractor inductions, supplier questionnaires, professional body membership meetings, examples of performance monitoring. Like you know, whenever you are managing the contractors or you are working with the supplier, then monitoring is a good technique to just keep the things on the path. So you can produce anything from that. Okay. Then 2.2 is asking provide support and as assistance to the appropriate people and groups identify in 2.1. In this, you have to explain that the persons you have mentioned in your 2.1, so how you are supporting them, how you are assisting them. So definitely there, there are clear training sessions, there are emails, tool bug talks, and uh, even uh, for uh, contractors, their induction is a uh, is the best assistance for them. So in 2.2, you have to explain that how you are going to support and assist these people. And in evidence of that, you can provide me training sessions records, toolbox talks, emails, contractor inductions, etc. Now moving forward. Use appropriate opportunities to develop additional links with people and groups. In that pur pur purpose, what you can do, like if you are doing with uh, someone else externally, so you can't uh, force them for TBTs or discussions or meetings. So what you do, you simply arrange some webinars, some seminars, their CPT activity, meeting appointments with different organizations, with different stakeholders and plans and projects. So you have to, for this one, you have to give me evidence like you have performed or you have attended a webinar uh, for uh, just for the betterment of a positive health and safety culture. Even you can uh, share with me that your staff, three or four person have performed some CPD activity like continuous pro uh, process development that your the individuals progress development, they are doing like in the form of trainings or in the form of some workshops they have attended. So you have to provide me the evidence of that. Now moving forward to 2.4, plan implementation of opportunities to develop additional links with people and groups. Here, what happened? That here, he's asking that you are already have developed some additional links with different people and group, etc. No, he's saying that how you are going to implement that developed opportunities in your organizations. So for that purpose, well, you, you, uh, uh, you want to develop, like you want to develop relationship with other people, but what are the opportunities are there and how you will implement that development, uh, that plan? What is the plan for implementing that opportunities that you can link with different people so webinars, seminars, future CPD activities, like in this case, you will say that we have arranged this, we are going to arrange this, but you have to give me a clear evidence on that, that you are really planning for that purpose, for what you are saying in the explanation of this assessment criteria. Okay, now moving forward, is it fine for everyone? If I share for this point, if I share the training, the training plan for the month. But, 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 but no, month. no, no, but uh, for this purpose, as you are developing links, links mm -hmm. is basically not with the help of training. Like, for example, if someone is outsider and he, he comes to your organization 
uh, very, you can say rarely. Why he come to attend your training sessions? He can only attend your webinar, your seminar, because it happens only once in a month or uh, twice a month. Yeah, but when there is any visitors or when anyone came to our uh, premises, actually we are giving them a safety induction. Yeah. That safety induction record, it enough for this one? No, safety induction is not for this one because we are planning for it. And safety induction is normally for uh, is basically relevant to our are connected to workers. Training is the word is normally connected to the workers or employees. Uh, uh, like if you can by law or by discipline, you can force them that they have to perform in that. But what happened that if there are external factors there, like external people are there, in that case, you have to do such activities, just keeping the interest of people uh, on board. And in this regard, you can't push them. You just, first of all, you create, you develop interest of people in that, and then conduct a, some type of event, some type of like webinars, seminars, uh, these things like meetings, appointments, then it will be fine. Clear. Okay. Yeah, Mahmoud? Actually, for the, uh, like, if we are going to go for the stockholder team, the stockholder or whoever who is coming for that, as we have a meeting, online meeting with them, showing them about the health and safety culture in our company or on our organization, mm -hmm. that only will be enough for this point? Yeah, yeah, that's that's enough. And and that is actually the, uh, the that is the uh, meeting. For planning of that, you have what you have to do for that meeting, you have to plan some future appointments with that person or with that people. Even this meeting will be considered as an online meeting. Even it can be considered as a, uh, you can say a webinar. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Is it fine with Mahmoud, please, first? Yes, yes, that's what, what I understand now very well, that I need to plan for this, then I need to conduct it. Okay, fine, yeah. All right, in this area, can we share Zoom link we have raised for social media? Yeah, and and, and you have, uh, you have uh, specifically, you will, uh, even not than a meeting, you should have a schedule for this, you have initiated their discussion or will meeting with anyone. You have sent an email to them that will confirm that you are planning a meeting with them. So that can be an evidence for, for this. Okay. Because uh, sometimes we just we raise uh, webinars mm -hmm. with the Zoom and then the link is shared with the topic. Mm. on what we want to discuss so can that be as an evidence yeah so so that can be used but you should remember uh, that uh, teacher that i am just saying that what you have to see you have to focus what the assessment criteria is asking from you okay things are just yeah. just what you are doing in your workplace but the thing is that you have to make sure that what you are providing in the explanation of that and as an evidence of, of that assessment criteria should be relevant to that assessment criteria. Okay, because we talked here about the plan, right? Yeah. So because we can raise a Zoom meeting planning a discussion. Yeah, yeah. First of all, teacher, oh. for that meeting, for that meeting, uh, sh you should uh, st just plan internally somewhere that you will ask your director, you will ask your manager that we need a communication with them, or we have to to connect with different people. He will allow you through email that yeah, okay, fine, go for that. That emails and the plan you will develop for that webinar or meeting will all of these are evidence for planning of a link 
between you and an uh, and a person or a team of person or an organization yeah why well, i'm asking this because when it comes to email email definitely doesn't come from my, from me come from my manager going to them and yeah. most of the time even i am not even copied i just get an information pre information okay we are going to be having such and such a meeting so that's why i'm in that I'm case if, if if you have if you have gotten the uh, you can say uh, if you got the uh, acceptance or some time of if uh, the your top management allow you verbally then no worries at all then the schedule or the plan will be the basic evidence in that case all right because sometimes we have uh, these uh, teams you, you i just see these teams require request email coming to me okay there's going to schedule meeting for this for this it's going to show are you going to accept or reject so can i that email when it comes like that can i put down as an evidence hmm. sorry 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 teacher please yeah i say some of the times like we just get an email coming from the consultant raising a teams meeting we are going to be having an hsc meeting for this and this and this and then it comes and then it's highlighted for you to accept or to reject are you going to attend or not so that such an email that most of the time that's what I yeah do. So yeah that, I that, will, uh, that, that will that will work that will work the screenshot of that email is also considered will also be considered as an evidence okay all right okay uh, but but it should confirm your name or your team name or your organization name then it's fine yes okay now i can go move on yeah sure okay uh, okay gentlemen now the last uh learning come for this unit we have is uh, understand the importance of promoting a positive health and safety culture within the organization this learning outcome you can say is some type of subjective information in first two learning outcomes and their assessment criteria everything you are performing in your organization was asked from you with respect to the positive health and safety culture in your organization but in this learning outcome what is asking about you that the these assessment criteria are just asking are getting the information from you that how much you know about this positive health and safety culture or how much you know that what is the importance of promoting a positive health and safety culture in this section in this section the section 3 the learning outcome 3 there are six assessment criteria in each assessment criteria these are some questions asked from you and you have to answer these so two things are there first thing is that there is no evidence required in this section but whatever you are going to explain in this learning outcome in these assessment criteria should be specific to your organization some things are common like just uh, defining a positive culture it is a common thing but what type of positive culture do you have in your organization is a different thing so when it comes to the assessment criteria 1 3.1 describe the nature and role of a positive health and safety culture within the organization so you have to write the answer which contains the information about what is a health and safety culture what is the difference between a positive and negative culture then 
what benefit can a positive culture bring to the organization? You have to give the information on these three things. In answer to this specific 3.1 assessment criteria. In 3.2, it is asking describe the existing health and safety culture within the organization. As you explained in the 3.1, the culture, the difference between positive and negative culture, and what are the benefit of positive culture. Now, in this 3.2, you have to explain that what type of culture your organization has. What is the existing? Is it positive or negative? You have to explain that. Or if it is mixed, like you say, there are uh, much, the, mostly the culture is positive, but need improvements. So the improvements show that there are some negative things there. So with respect to your workplace, you have to uh, explain there that what type of culture is health and safety culture is in your organization and whether what are its positive what are its negative and you have to explain that and how you are going to improve that or what you are doing to improve that okay now in 3.3 uh, we have identified how the organization's communication system can be utilized to promote the benefits of a positive health and safety culture. Here, you have to explain the means of communication your organization is using to, uh, to communicate, to communicate the benefits of a positive health and safety culture, okay? What types of means, like you, uh, you can say, starting from the verbal, written, or you can say graphic communication you are using to uh, promote this culture in that in written you have different means in verbal you have different means in graphical you have safety signs you have notice boards you have posters and many things are there but you have to just answer this question with respect to your organization that what your organization has actually has there so 3.4 identify the people and groups who may be affected by the health and safety process. In this, you have to identify the people and groups who may be affected by the safety process. Okay, just listen it carefully that how, who can be affected by health and safety process. So in your organization, what do you think that who are the person, who are the people that can be affected by the health and safety process. And uh, even, even you, uh, you, uh, you don't have to discuss only your internal personnel. You have to discuss your external personnel as well as your internal personnel. So both you have to consider. So actually I can say, uh, the internal personnel and as well as the external personnel who can be affected by the health and safety process, you have to mention. And it should be, again, I am saying, it should be with respect to the nature, uh, nature of work in your organization and with nature of your organization. It should be like that. Then we have in it the 3.5, explain how to engage different individuals and groups in the in the health and safety process in this what you have to do you will yes teacher okay in this uh, 3.4 yeah to identify the people or the group that can be affected by the health and safety process uh like my organization my organization is very big so can we do that project wise no you only have to where you are available what is the premises in which you are you only have to write about, about uh, according to that yeah that's what i'm asking if it should be project wise because if i want to talk about external to the the whole the whole organization is going to be big so that's what I'm asking, can it be narrowed down to a project? 
Yeah, you can well, narrow down. Um, you can narrow down because teacher, if you don't have access to the uh, areas, uh, so how you can explain uh, explain that external or internal personnel? So it should be specific yeah. to the uh, uh, premises where you are working actually, and it's you can not, see and and you can see and you can consider the internal and external personnel there. All right. Yeah. Okay. And now in 3.5, explain how to engage different individuals and groups in the health and safety process. Uh, in this, what you have to know that there are internal personnel, there are external personnel. Uh, just to uh, just to make a good health and safety culture in the organization, the best thing is that you engage all of them. In, uh, in any form you can say, in any category or in any process, you, 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 you only have to involve or engage that different individuals and group in health and safety process. Even, even you, uh, you think that some employee can't do anything, some personnel can't do anything, just take a feedback from them. Just do a survey, a safety survey there. Uh, it, it is it is a safety survey. It is not the high level safety survey. I am just discussing the safety simple survey. Just going there and asking some questions from them and just involving them. Okay. So in any stage, you can use that. Yes, Mahmood. Can we do like for the, the if we need to engage the people? Can we do like an assessment for the people? Uh, sorry, Mahmood, I can't hear you properly. Please. I am telling to you that can we do an assessment for the people, assessment regarding this process, the safety process? Uh, you, you are you are asking the uh, risk assessment, please? Not, not assessment, I'm sorry. It's assessment only regarding the safety only. Yeah, that yeah, I yeah. Agree. You can only simply, yeah, you are right. You can only take a simple assessment from them that what they are think, what they are thinking about uh, the health and safety, what are their thoughts, what are their attitude, what are their beliefs, and, and you can add up them. So, so they will be engaged there, even they are of no use. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, so considering all levels in the organization and the external individuals and groups, you have to make such arrangements that you can engage all of them. The last one is 3.6, explain external factors influencing a positive health and safety culture to include sources of expertise and advice on health and safety matters that are available to inform the planning and decision making process for the organization. So basically, in this case, only you have to write with respect to your organization, what are the external factors actually, whether it in the form of individuals or in the form of groups are influencing your positive health and safety culture. So that factor you will, uh, will say there like, current and changing legislation, economic climate, enforcement action, availability of best practice and external consultants, insurance companies, trade unions. So actually you have to write there that what type of external factors can influence your organization when it comes to a positive health and safety culture in your organization. Is it fine for you? Um, yeah, it's clear. Actually, it's clear. The point yeah. number three, it's yeah. clear. It's a uh, questions and we have to answer it. Yeah. And uh, one, one and two, it's uh, depend on the evidence. Yeah. How we are coordinating uh, with the people, how we are making a link with the workers, how, I mean, uh, how we communicate actually with them. Yeah, absolutely. And, and even uh, in one point, uh, in one and two, in learning outcome one and two, you have to justify your evidences that 
you are providing them, then you have to justify that. But here in three, you have to just simply, uh, you have to show the awareness, the level of your knowledge with respect to health and safety, a uh, positive health and safety culture. So you have to explain that. Any questions, Clear. gentlemen? In point, uh, in point number three, point uh, five. Also, yeah. so can we add like the committee meeting? This is engagement of all the people. Uh, in 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 you are asking about the three point five. Explain yeah. how to engage different. Yeah, it, it is just like that. How you are going to engage them? Like what are the opportunities you have? Like if you are saying that. These are the external people, personal, but can influence our health and safety culture. How we can engage them? You can engage them by different means. Well, how I, am, I, I said to you that you conduct some, some type of uh, 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 webinar or informational uh, survey, or you can say some impact videos, training. You, so you have to engage them engage them in health and safety that that people can't say that this is doing they are doing for their internal staff so we don't have to follow this or we don't have to look at this so you have to engage them just what happened simply what i will say that uh, you see that many times uh, around you some individuals some persons are not well of or, or don't have competence of doing some work so what you do, you just engage them some type of activity that will help them to grow up and even engage with the process. So same happened in the health and safety that you see that some people are there, they can affect you, but they are not participating or they are not involved in the positive health and safety culture, in the promotion of positive health and safety culture, then what you have to do, you, you just have to engage them any type of activity. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Uh, photo evidence is acceptable. Yeah, accept, uh, acceptable. Okay. So you can just share photos of yourself conducting maybe a meeting, a toolbox talk. Yeah, but 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 uh, it, 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 can, uh, it depends on the nature of uh, evidence or nature of assessment criteria. If like I want to see that you are communicating that uh, with a picture, I can't, it, it will definitely show that you, you, you said that you have performed some meeting and in the picture, it is clear. But what you have communicated in that training uh, you are providing and you have taken the picture, then a training record is a is a much important, or you can say the primary evidence for that purpose. Okay, so what about videos? Yeah, uh, so vi videos. Vi videos, videos will be good one. Videos will be good one because uh, they can explain themselves. Okay. Yeah. Last request, please, uh, Mr. Eckert. Can you explain the 3.6 again? Uh, 3.6, you are asking about the 3.6, Mahmoud? Yes, 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 3.6. Yeah, please, okay. In 3.6, it is saying that what are, explain that, what are the external factors you think are influencing your uh, positive or positive health and safety culture? What are the external factors which can influence your positive culture? You have to explain that. Like enforcement action is showing that you uh, the enforcement action can definitely influence your uh, positive health and safety culture. So other things like insurance premiums and other external factors, just like it, like you have in the organizations, insurance premiums, the external consultants, companies, trade unions can influence your organization. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Thank you. Welcome. What about observations from consultants and clients? No, 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 no. Uh, teacher, in this unit, we are discussing about the promotion of a positive health and safety culture. 
So we are taking this unit as a managerial part. Whatever the things we want to discuss from our workplace, it should be in the form of meeting, a review meeting, our activity, our discussion. It will be like that. It cannot be individually. In other units where we have like risk assessments, we have observations, we have quality of observation. There, we will definitely discuss this one. Yeah, I'm talking of something that can push the company towards positive safety culture. No, 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 no. No, that is not, that will not be an observation. That will be external factors, a complete factor. It will not be a simply an observation, an activity. No, it will be a factor, a complete factor. Like, 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 listen, enforcement action or enforcement, uh, you can say enforcement agency is a factor. And their activities uh, may be that they can punish anyone. They can imprison any, uh, they can imprison anyone. They can find anyone. So there are different activities that they can perform. So we can't uh, select any activity here. We have to just look at the factor, overall factor. Picha? Is it fine? Yeah, got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, some. Yeah. There are some other things also I got when I was going through the portal. Yeah. And I just want to get a quick clarity on them. And, and listen, like listen, instance, uh, li listen, gentlemen, listen, gentlemen. Uh, so uh, I am just going to stop the recording. And uh, as we are going to do some in in internal instructions, I am going to uh, give you people. So for recording purpose, it is enough for us that even we, I can share with other uh, on my YouTube or Facebook play, platform just to help out the other people too. So then it will be uh, go, good for them too. So I'm go just going to stop doing the recording and uh, I will continue with you people, okay? Okay.